Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace the hamburger menu icon on the pre made navbar component that Webflow gives you. Yeah, you can change that icon to a Lottie file. So with this, you can customize the look of the hamburger menu icon to animate into something else like an X. And then when you click on that X, it animates back to a hamburger menu icon. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so first thing we want to do is put in a navbar component. All right, and it's up to you if you want to set the menu icon for desktop or just tablet on down below. All right, and to see the menu button, the hamburger menu, you would go to whatever break, uh, breakpoint you've set this setting to. And yeah, so that's it for this part. Now let's go ahead and get a hamburger icon, animated one that makes sense for us. So I'm gonna go to lottiefiles.com and I'm gonna search for hamburger. And we have these. Funny how no actual hamburgers are shown here. They're all just menu buttons. Interesting. <laughs> so um, yeah, so you can choose any one you want. Um, let's go with this one. This thing's pretty cool. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to download the Lottie JSON file. Okay. And that's it. Okay. And then now what I can do is I can drag in the Lottie file on top of the icon, delete this icon and now size this down however I want. So I'm going to call this hamburger Lottie. Give it a width of, let's say, 50. Ooh, that's really small. All right. So because there's a lot of blank space around the actual canvas size of the Lottie file, I can cheat this a bit by going to menu button and setting this to overflow hidden. That way, if I take this hamburger icon and say, let's set it to, what will happen? Okay, that's too much. I'll say 50-50, but I'll set the transform to scale and make it way bigger. Something like this. All right, yep, it's like that, but it's actually going to be the, the hit box where, where the tapping area is only going to be up to here because we're masking out everything else outside of it. Thanks to overflow hidden. All right. Now, if I preview this, this plays the animation. We don't want that. We only want to play half when someone clicks on this and then play the other half when someone clicks on it again. So we'll need a, element trigger for click. So while I'm selected on menu button, I'm going to add an element trigger, mouse click, and on first click, I'm going to start an animation. And I can name this new animation um, uh, hamburger menu open. And now I'm going to click on the Lottie file timed actions and I'm going to select Lottie and for this one uh, the initial state will be at zero and then I'm going to choose Lottie again so set another keyframe choose Lottie again and I'm going to go forward until I get to the spot that I want like that all right and so I'm going to end the animation there and for press play there you go it seems like there's some sort of lag all right so what i can do is with this first step i can start it right here press play there we go now it's faster okay so whoever the animator is 
uh, they had a lot of time before the actual animation starts. So that's where we can just fix it on, by ourselves. Okay, so now if someone clicks on that, it'll do the animation. Now I'm gonna start the animation again for the second click. I'm gonna add a new animation called hamburger menu close. Choose Lottie and add a Lottie integration keyframe and set this back to, oh, I'm waiting for it. Where did, I think it was 23. Yeah, so let's preview. There you go. That's it. Really simple. All right. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below, or if you have a suggestion for a future topic that you want me to go over, I'll definitely do it and put it on my list. If you want to support me, go ahead and click on the subscribe, the like, and the notification bell. Also, if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me at ThePixelGeek. That's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.